everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page three of um, Let It Be. Page three of Let It Be. So it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to have a left and a right flap and a belly band in the center. And I just noticed I'm missing a couple of pieces, but they'll pop up before we get too far. So we are going to go ahead and locate the belly band. I've got a tick mark here at the halfway point and then the halfway point here on the belly band. This is three by nine, three by nine. You're gonna score a half inch on either end. Three by nine. It seems like it's a little bit short. Oh, I might have to redo that. I'm going to show you. It's kind of short here, so I'm likely going to fix that. Um, let's see. I'm going to pause that. I've got to find two strips. We're going to put two strips on either side. We're going to inset two flaps a half inch, so I'm going to go find my strips. I thought I had them laid out, but I don't see them. They're going to match um, this pattern. And by the way, this is from the 8x8. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I found them. Um, again, one of the reasons I like to glue things down as soon as possible because I mislay things. And then I have trouble finding them. Anyways, we've got our two stripes. And I think I said this is from the 8x8. It is not. It's from the 12x12. 12 12. So I'm going to take that back. It's from the 12x12. 12 12. And we're going to lay these in on either side. And I kind of like the dark down, like so. And I need to make sure everything is right side up. Okay, that is correct. So I need to ink one of these, and we'll glue it down. So we're going to come in a half inch, um, and that I made each one of these strips three quarters of an inch wide. So it's going to go underneath the flap that I install. <coughs> Okay, there we go. So I haven't made my half inch mark, so let's do that real quick. So we're going to come in a half inch, top, bottom. I'm just going to use my grid to do that. And again, this mark is going to be the installation point for the flaps. Not for the two strips that we're putting in. I got too close to the edge. Okay, I'm going to turn it so that I can see three of the four sides closely. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're ready to do our flaps, left and right. These are four and a quarter by eight, four and a quarter by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the four and a quarter inch side. Now that's a, a little bit unusual. Normally I do a four inch panel and the reason I did four and a quarter is because I wanted to utilize more of my ephemera cards and that's what this 
um, fits and I'm going to have a pocket on the front so that was what was driving the size here. Typically I like that 4 inch size because then that leaves on a 12 inch sheet that leaves um, 8 inches of remaining pattern and on an 8 by 8 it leaves um, 4 inches so those are nice round numbers to to utilize as far as the balance of the papers that are available. Okay, here we go. Looks like that didn't get pressed into place. Again, four and a quarter by eight, you're gonna score a half inch on the four and a quarter inch side. And that just reminded me, I haven't updated my cut list. So I'm gonna do that in a minute so I don't forget. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to take, um, if I can find it, here it is. I'm going to erase my, um, any marks that are showing in the border or on the paper anywhere. Okay, looks good. Okay, verify what side's up, what side's down. This is page three, page two. Two, okay, three. So this is up. I'm just going to put a little thing there for me. We're going to have two magnets here, and they are going to get attached to the belly band. So they're actually going to be on the inside. So I'm going to do a little mark here. So I know I can put my magnet anywhere from this edge to that line. So probably going to wind up being centered, one on the left and right, but I'm not going to install that just yet. So the next thing we have are these pockets, which are five and a quarter inches across by four and a half inches tall. Five and a quarter across by four and a half inches tall. You're going to score um, a half inch and then you're going to score at four and three quarters, half inch and four and three quarters and then um, a half inch off the bottom. Rotate it 90 degrees and a half inch off the bottom. And that'll give you your pocket. And I buried my pick tool. Oops. Nope, nope. Shoot, have to before I was ready. It's uh, way too far down. It was on, oh, it's because this is popping up. That's why I need to hold it down with one hand. Like, why did that jump up? Okay. There we go. Now we're going to do that one more time. Five and a quarter. By four and a half, you're going to score a half inch on three of the four sides. And you have a nice pocket for your flap. Okay. Now, so these are what's going to go into the pocket. So I'm going to give you this measurement. This measurement is four... It's going to be four and one sixteenth. But here's what I did: I trimmed it to four and a quarter, figured out where I was going to place my ephemera card, and then came in and, and trimmed one side. But what it turned out to be in the case of this ephemera card was four and one sixteenth. Now that can vary depending on your ephemera card. So you just want to make sure that it is narrow enough to fit into your pocket. And this is four and a quarter inches wide, right? So four and one sixteenth fits beautifully. Um, this is an ephemera card. This is from the eight by eight. And this is from 
the 12 by 12. It's a strip of the 12 by 12. I can tell by the scale. And then this is a cut apart um, that's on one of the 12 by 12 collection sheets. Okay, so I chose these two to go together. It's not the back side of this, and I chose this one because I like the honeycomb and the bee going together. So those are the two that I did. It's pretty straightforward. And then oop, I meant to put decorative corners on <laughs> all four, but I didn't. Um, but I do have decorative cor corners going on the bottom. So again, this is four and one sixteenth by seven and three quarter. You'll need two of those. And again, I would do seven or a four and a quarter and trim to fit. And that's what I'm going to write in the banner. Four and a quarter trim to fit your ephemera card or whatever size border you want around it. Okay, uh, I need to take a quick break. break. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Let's, let's see, what are we going to do next? Let's go ahead and put down our magnets. Okay. So we're going to have one on each flap. And then we're going to... Um, Add it to the belly band. I'm going to use some white tape to cover my magnet to soften the edges. It's trying to grab to a magnet on the flip side. There we go. It's fun. Okay, and my arthritis is really giving me fits. Okay, good. Um, that's all done. And that'll stay closed. Okay, so here is what I've chosen for the pocket. It goes on the inside. Here's the top, like so. Let's think for a second. I believe this is 12 or 8 by 8. But I'm going to try to find. Yeah, this is from the 12 by 12. This is from the patterns and solids. Is here so I can see my edges. Quick dry fit looks good. There we go. That is what I'm planning, but I'm going to go ahead and put the cards in so that we can take a look at the background when the cards are in the pocket. So that's what I have planned. You're not going to see very much of it. Just a tiny bit of green around the edge. So it's that or that. So I have mixed feelings. Um, 
this is relatively simple background to put a photo on, but then this would be, you know, really easy to lay a photo on. And when you have your card in here, for the most part, it's going to be covered. It's just creating a small frame around your card. So I, I think I'm going to go this way, but I could see going either direction. So I'm just going to dry fit this real quick. And then we will make sure it's ink and put it in. Oops, For some reason it didn't, it's getting stuck on my flange. Uh, it looks really good. And I've already inked it. So I just made it a quarter inch longer than it needed to be so that it'll tuck slightly into the pocket. So I'm going to leave that quarter inch uh, glue free. It just makes positioning uh, the card, uh, the designer paper that much easier. There's really no risk of it lifting out from under the pocket. I've already done, um, decorated one side of this, so that's why it's a little bit hard to get in. There we go. Beautiful. I think that looks great. So we'll repeat that over here. <clears throat> it is inked. I know it fits in the pocket because I just took it out. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Oh, by the way, um, that's a uh, cut from, and then uh, cut from uh, the 12 by 12 collection pack, but I also put it on top of chipboard so it's popped out a little bit. So when I was planning the pockets, I knew I had to make sure that my pocket fell below this element because it's elevated. Okay, next we'll start with the inside. Okay, so... I want to have this red on either side of the belly band, but I didn't want to waste any paper. So what I did was I cut what's going to be the exposed part out and then just taped it together with a three inch spacer. Now there's a couple of benefits. One, you don't waste three inches by eight inches worth of paper. But the other benefit is when you go to slip something in the belly band, all the everything is on the same plane. Um, when you do the three inch strips on either side, don't put something in the middle. Sometimes when you're trying to put your stuff through the belly band, it'll get caught on your designer paper. It's not that big of a deal, but if everything's on the same plane, it'll slide right in and out. Okay, so I'm going to... put glue on one side and towards the middle, then I'm going to slip it under, then I'm going to lift this side and add more glue, okay? So this is a little bit tricky. I did that backwards. I'm going to push the the side that's glue free through. There we go. Get it started. Thank you. 
Okay, there we go. Oh, that's too tight. I've got a, a, I need to trim this down. Hmm. Okay, it's already glued in, so I'm not going to pull it out, but I, I should have dry fit it first. I need to take a, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch off. So I'm actually going to put my metal ruler under it. I'm going to mark it first. Trim there and there. Okay, and it's not ideal, but I've done it before, and you can see my cut marks on my ruler. It's going to become the base, and then I am going to use a second ruler and trim it. And I, it is not ideal. I should have done this first. See where I've cut through my ruler. <laughs> but just like I say, all I always say, there's always a workaround. There's always a way to solve your problem. Just gotta give it some thought. Okay, now I can add that the rest of the glue here. And it's best to dry fit it first. So you don't have this problem at all. There we go, that's in. Okay, now I think I've got a two inch strip somewhere. I mean three inch, sorry. Again, with the shuffling. Here we go. So, I didn't realize it, but this is from the 8x8 collection pack. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't find something. Actually, I kind of like it. I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with it. I don't think I have enough of the 12 by 12 anyway. I've got this piece. No, I do. Maybe I should go ahead and do the 12 by 12. Just so it's consistent. Okay, so I'm going to need a 3 inch strip. Actually, 2 and 7 eighths. Okay, seven and seven eighths. I want my stripes to line up, so I'm actually going to mark where I want to trim it because it's slightly off. And that way, when you visually, when you look across, everything's going to line up. I think it's the, these are the details, you know, that really make a difference in uh, the quality of your book and your work. And I think people can see it, even though they may not know what's why they like it they can just the aesthetic please is pleasing but they're not necessarily going to point out oh look how all these lines went you know from one end of the page to the other lined up beautiful okay i think my son just got home we're almost done Well, that's not true. I still have to do an insert here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 
Yeah. Now for the sides, this is from the 12 by 12 collection and so is this. So what I've decided to do is put a two inch strip on the top and bottom and then this uh, dark piece in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, oh no, that's too narrow. Did I do that for all four? Yes, I did. I'm going to have to recut these. So I'm going to have to pause because I want to put my two inch strips in first and then cut this down to size. Be right back. 